Hey guys, so this is my October 2023 uh, debt update. So debt Friday update. So for the first Friday in November, I am sharing what happened in October with respect to my debt. I have my trusted coffee here because I still have two more hours left of work that I need to do, but I'm fighting for my life, like literally. I can't keep my eyes open so we're drinking some coffee to perk me up and I thought since I'm taking um, a 30 minute break from work I might as well just do this quick video for my day free Friday and just be done with it because as I've mentioned in my videos that you've seen this week I'm pre-recording in advance of me traveling for the next two weeks so we're trying to get this content out to you guys so at the end of October, I sat down and looked through everything that I've done with respect to my finances and now I'm sitting down today, the 1st of November 2023, and I just finished going through the debts that I have. I must preface this by saying I'm not including the credit cards, although you would see them in my network tracker, I'm not actually tracking them as my overall debt because there is money available for me to clear them. I'm just, it's a whole process. Let's just put it that way. So I currently have two loans and then the third debt that I'm tracking is with respect to my personal mobile. So my personal handset in the UK, I don't know about other countries, but in the UK, you can get the phone and the price plan. Um, so the airtime, on a package on credit essentially and then you pay them off um, as you use the phone so you could have a plan for 24 months 12 12 months 24 months I think even 36 months or thereabouts but don't quote me on that so in the past I always had a plan whereby the cost of the handset and the Rhineland rental was one price but since I renewed this March they have swapped this out and the handset is separate so I chose to track that in my debts tracker because I want to pay the handset off and I just want to pay for the line rental that is my plan so with that being said let's start off with the how we started the month of October so for the month of October for my personal loan, I started off at 29,573 and 62 pence. With this personal loan, the um, interest has been pre-charged already. So it's not affected by the fluctuating interest rates, especially in these times. It's such a good thing. And I'll talk about that a little bit more when I talk about my second loan. So I know exactly how much I owe and how long it's going to take me. So the minimum repayment is around six fifty or thereabouts for this loan. And I chose that I wanted to be sending at least £700 every single month. The month of October wasn't a month where I could afford to send £700 towards my debt. And when I do my um, up, up, update my recap of October with respect to my budget you will see why so I managed to send the minimum repayment that was required of 651 pounds and one pence bringing my balance to 28,922 and 61 pence so this is this is great this is absolutely great for me because I am definitely under 30 I'm definitely under 29,000 so this is a new milestone that I'm celebrating because for me when it comes to these large amounts of debt every little helps so I'm glad to see the progress now for the second loan, the second loan is an advanced mortgage loan that I took out on this home to buy my third rental property. And that loan is on a variable rate interest, which is not the worst for me because I did account in with my budgeting that this will fluctuate. So I'm okay, but to be honest, it's not the best to be on because if the Bank of England wakes up one day and says that we're going to increase the rates to 7%, guess who has to pay a lot more um, during that period? 
exactly so and obviously i knew what i was putting myself into so don't get me wrong i'm not asking for sympathy or anything like that i'm just saying it sucks i'm in a privileged position to be able to still afford this loan not a lot of people are a lot of people if these interest rates increase one more time are going to be in worse rates than before so just saying so prepare to laugh because I had to laugh. I started the month of October at 59,867 and 32 pence. At the end of October, we had 59,822 pounds and eight pence. You wouldn't believe me if I told you that I sent over 380 pounds to this loan. All of that is interest all of that was charged as interest so of my 380 plus that I sent to this loan only 45 pounds and 24 pence actually went to principal like this is why I keep saying in my debt free update videos that for this particular loan until I you know until probably July next year I'm not going to be setting a goal or a target for myself to be like oh I want by the end of this month to have paid this much off because the interest is ridiculous and obviously interest is charged daily so what I'm paying right now is honestly just interest it feels like an interest only mortgage um, right now even though it's not but Again, every little helps. Then for my mobile handset, for my mobile handset, if I had bought it outright, it would have cost me £1,115. But because I took it on credit, I have been paying at least £30 a month. Like I said, I have no intention of paying this in two years' time. I would like to pay it off within a year if I can. I thought maybe I could move some things around and pay at the end of this year, but no, I've got way too many priorities to be sending the money that I have left to pay off to this handset. So we're just going to leave it and maybe by next year, March, I can clear the balance for the handset and I'll just have the line rental left. But Anyway, so I started the month of October at £799.17. This um, this handset, I do have a goal of paying off at least £50 every single month. Um, more if I can, but at least £50. My minimum repayment is between £30 and £26 because every single time I make an extra repayment, they reduce how much I am charged every single month. So I'm just saying whenever they reduce... I pay the difference to make it 50 pounds every single month. So 791 and 17 pence is what I started off with and I'm now at 748 pounds and 73 pence. So I was able to send 50 pounds and 44 pence towards this um, mobile handset. So started a month, a month of October of at 90,240 and 11 pence. So I was over 90,000 and drum roll please because your girl is officially under 90,000 and I am now at 89,493 pounds and 42 pence. I am definitely celebrating this little milestone to being under 90,000. So if we just look at the credit that I applied towards this um, these debts, I actually brought it down. I brought my debt down by seven hundred and forty six pounds and sixty nine pence. We're not gonna actually look at the true amount of how much I sent because the mortgage advance really brought my numbers down because of the three eighty only forty five pounds registered, like I said. So that's where we are that's where we ended october with now if i look forward to november and what i would like to do because i'm going to spend two weeks abroad um i don't know how much money extra money i'll have available to send towards my debt but i'm gonna aim still for the mobile handset to see if i can pay 50 pounds i'm gonna aim for the um zopa loan the personal loan if i could at least pay 700 if Possible. that would be really really good but I'm not um, I'm just it's it's fine if I don't but I'm hoping I'll be able to at least 700 pounds because that will put me in a really really good position to start December with but yeah that is all with respect to my debt update for the month of October so 
that is that is bad right because the more you are in debt the more you are robbing yourself of your future so the money that i sent this 700 could have gone to other financial goals but i made these decisions knowing fully well like one of them gave me an asset and one of them improved my assets so the mortgage advance gave me another asset in form of a third rental property my personal loan helped me to upgrade my home adding value to my home my mobile handset is where i make all my extra money from so none of this debt is 100 bad in my eyes it's something that i made fully conscious fully conscious and aware of my actions so as much as we can be fighting the um loan companies or what have you some of us are using that debt to progress ourselves we would like to just have the money available but capitalism does not allow for that for everybody but here we are so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye.